You know, sports drinks are a part of most outdoor athletes' training and competition routine. But lately, they've been receiving a lot of criticism for the high refined sugar and fructose content. Sure, water is enough for many of us most days, but when the demands are highest or we just want something with a little flavor and electrolytes, what options do we have? Honey Max is a small player in this massive industry, but they're offering something different, an all-natural sports drink. Sounds like a good idea, but is it worth making the switch? I'm Chris from Get Out There Gear Reviews. Stick around, and I'll tell you what I think. The basic theory of sports drinks has always been to replace the lost fluids and electrolytes caused by sweating. All the different brands claim to do just that, with various impressive sounding secret formulas and ingredients I don't recognize and can't pronounce. Honey Max is simpler. Using all natural honey as its base, and with an electrolyte mix of sodium, magnesium, potassium, and calcium, I'm not wondering what I'm actually putting into my body. Refined sugars tend to cause insulin spikes, followed by dips that may impair performance. Honey Max provides a slower energy release that supports endurance activities. You can get the full description of the science behind the product on the Honey Max website. There's lots of information there for those eager to understand it all. You'll also get a sense of how and why this small Canadian company is taking on the giants in the field and gaining ground steadily after launching less than a year ago. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what the theory says unless you're actually going to use the product. It has to work out on the roads and trails. It has to taste good and it has to be easy to use. I've been using both the lemon lime and the orange flavors for several months now when running, biking, hiking, and even just as an afternoon beverage for my kids and their friends. Honey Max doesn't necessarily give me the quick boost I can find from a gel or sugar-based drink, but on long hard days it gives me steady energy and seemed to help with the cramping issues I had been dealing with. You can mix your own as strong or as weak as you choose from the powder. At the recommended ratio of one scoop per 330 milliliters, the flavor is noticeable, but not strong, which is exactly what I want when I'm exercising. I prefer the lemon lime mix, but that's just me. The challenge that comes with a honey-based product is that it doesn't dissolve nearly as easily in water as sugar-based products. Honey Max has made this the focus of some of their social marketing, as users have sent in their videos of how they mix their Max. Here's how I do it. Whoops! So you can mix your Honey Max any way you want to, but in the end, what I've learned is a little bit of hot water makes a real big difference. The bottom line for me is pretty simple. At a similar cost to the big name sports drinks on the market, I'd rather use something all natural from a startup Canadian company that is getting rave reviews from some truly knowledgeable people. If that sounds like you also, then check out Honey Max at their website, a local retailer, or a race near you. And don't forget to check out all the Get Out There sites on web, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook for everything you need to get out there, have some fun, and come back ready for more.